There are a few central themes in the Canterbury Tales. One is the combined relationship of love, sex, and fellowship. Throughout the frame story, character prologues, and tales, Chaucer explores human relationships. The tales discuss brotherly love and the betrayal of it, as well as the partnerships among thieves and rogues, and even men and women. The camaraderie and fellowship of the Pilgrim Company sets the tone of the frame story. Sex within marriage, as well as outside of it, is a topic of several stories, with examples of both faithful and unfaithful wives, and an ample dose of sexual trickery and bed hopping. Women appear to have power in the realm of courtly love, where a young man declares himself smitten by, and pledges himself to, a seemingly unattainable woman. This woman would thus have power over her lover, as long as she remained out of reach. Social class is another important theme. The diverse social classes of the pilgrims are an important part of the prologue. As Chaucer describes the pilgrims, he gives their occupations, and many are never known beyond these designations. At the time Chaucer wrote the tales, society was moving from the estate system to a system that included a growing middle class. The stereotypes about these classes and the conflicts between them emerge in the frame story and in the individual tales. Morality is still connected with the first estate. The only member of the nobility, the knight, is treated as an honest and upright person, as is the poorest member of the clergy, the parson. Not all members of the first estate meet this high moral standard, as the friar and the pardoner illustrate. Story and storyteller is a relationship that's an important theme to the Canterbury Tales. The connection between story and storyteller is a crucial part of what makes the Canterbury Tales unique, as the layer upon layer of storytelling involved is staggering and often hilarious. Geoffrey Chaucer is the author, yet Chaucer the Pilgrim is the narrator. While Geoffrey Chaucer's tales are excellent examples of narrative and poetry, Chaucer the Pilgrim's poetry fails to satisfy, and his narrative is long and tedious. Most of the storytellers tell tales that match their personality or social status in some way. The connection between storyteller and audience is evident in occasional angry eruptions or approving responses. The Pilgrim's responses also allow Chaucer to provide a running commentary about each tale as it is told. The theme of rivalry is introduced by the storytelling competition. There are rivals in love fighting for the same woman. Storytellers who try to get back at or outdo one another in insults. Rivals in trickery who try to outsmart one another with their tricks. The rivalry between young and old men that is a feature of several tales comes to no good, and the rivalry between some members of the company threatens the jolly mood of the pilgrim. 